Blue Jumbo. Pick your team number five. I got three teams left. Brewers, Pirates, and Rangers. If anybody wants some, guys, I'm going to take out packs already. It's release day, so let's have some fun. Oh, that's what this is. It's a freaking poster. <laughs> I was like, this feels like something. I actually didn't open it on the hobby. I forgot. Hi, Brad Face. How are you? is a bear you know it's funny so I've been I've been picking up uh, Jacob Wilson's like that and I'm I'm very proud to say I, I own a significant market share in the Jacob Wilson first black autographs <laughs> I now have one of the two 1010s PSA 1010s and then I have two black PSA 10s which is Two of the seven PSA 10s. And then somebody else just sent another black. They were reaching out to me on Facebook. They said it looked like it could jam. So I said, all right, if, if you're going to sell it, let me know. I'm going to go for I'm gonna. I'm going to try and capitalize on the black market. <laughs> See what I did there? Three teams left, guys. Three teams left. Packs are out already. Nah, you know, like, honestly, like, I just didn't buy him earlier because, one, you know, everybody everybody was, you know, going for him, obviously, because he joined our, he he, he joined our, uh, our breaks along with his uh, dad, Jack. So, like, you know, I didn't want to be that guy buying into the breaks when we were doing that. But at the same time, I also didn't want to buy early on release hype, you know what I mean? I wanted to wait a month or so. You know, beforehand, and then I kind of just was like, ah, I'll wait a little bit longer. And then sure enough, last month, oh, hey, he got caught up. Great. But I definitely waited too long. I, I can tell you that. I waited way too long. And now his price is probably, I'd say went up like 10, 15%. Which is fine. You know, I mean, I don't mind. If I bought them like two months ago, I would have I got them for like, I'd say at least 30% less probably, I guess. That's all good. That's true, j -Bock. Me and you crushed a lot of Vladdy's too last year. I'm trying to think of what product I kept hitting them for you in though, where you took the Blue Jays literally every time. What product was that? I think it was like September or October of last. It wasn't pristine. It might have been pristine. Was it pristine? Pirates came out. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it was pristine. Okay, my memory was pretty good. Oh, and, fla yeah, yeah, and flashbacks. And flashback. Yeah, yeah, yeah pristine. Whatever happened to Frosty? Where's Frosty Dog? I haven't seen Frosty in a minute. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot the game is on today. Damn it. I, I only did one case of Platinum Anniversary, but we are getting more. Along with Sapphire coming in by tomorrow, so you guys probably will see that in the store. I'm guessing sometime tomorrow or after I get off, what, what, one or the other. I'm not adding it, obviously, guys. No, no, you know, that's true. That, that is true. That is very true.
I'm waiting for Jacob Wilson to get off the DL though. I don't know. I like it's still an undisclosed knee injury. He's on a seven day IL. I still call it the DL, sorry. <laughs> He's been on a seven day IL. He hasn't played since like May 12th. So it's literally been like a month. Or maybe like May 15th. Might have been something like that. But then they only placed him on the IL on the 18th. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Isn't he supposed to be on the 30-day IL if it's longer than X amount of time? Oh, okay, that would make sense. That, that actually would make a lot of sense. Oh, sure. Darn, I got you. You're good, all right? Oh, shit, maybe not. Oh. Why? Darb, you're good. No worries, Darb. Thank you. Hey, what up, King? Yeah, no worries. No worries. No worries. Thanks for DMing me. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. What's up, Steven? How are you, buddy? I got two teams left, guys. Who wants it? I only got the Brewers and the Rangers. Brew crew for Churio SPs. Random team for King Talk. I see that. If anybody wants to wants a kill price, I do 180 on the kill, guys. But only on the kill price. Brewers and Rangers. Almost ready to show, guys. Or we could do a cheap. We could do a cheap $19 filler if you guys want to. I don't mind doing that. Okay. Yeah, because I'm on Insta. I mean, I'm on Instagram the next two nights, but yeah. Watching breaks at work. <laughs> you sound like an A-plus employee, Steven, or manager. Or department head, or director, or whatever your titles, 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 whatever it is. That's smart. That's actually really smart. I mean, I the thing is, is I can't like even like even like music. I can't listen to music all day. It's, it's I'm weird like that. I actually prefer the silence. Like I don't know what it is. Like I was always an early bird before I came to doing this with you folks. That is, I was always like a, a early bird kind of person. Like. So I, I'm one of those guys that I would naturally wake up 5.30, 6.30 in the morning just because just I liked it. You know what I mean? I like Hawk's combo. If, if I had to imitate Hawk, if, I, if there was one thing I could imitate Hawk, he's always cool as a cucumber. Like he has the most monotone, cool voice. There we go for the Yankees. It's a Dominguez. Hey, brat face, like he has that real slick, cool announcer's voice. When I come in, I'm just like, <laughs> but yeah, I used to be, so I, I used to be, but it's funny because like if, if I'm off, like let's say I got nothing to do today, I'll literally wake up now 
like I'm sluggish as hell up until like five o'clock in the afternoon. But I think it's because I'm always like working at night. Like, like if I was working on my car or my truck or whatever it was, if I was cleaning the garage or doing whatever it was, I always did it at night. One, because it was never as hot in Hawaii, especially too. But two, it's just something about the silence that I always enjoyed. Like, I don't know what it is. Coming, coming from someone as loud and sometimes a little bit over enthusiastic as myself. I do like it when he yells, hello? It's like, are we out there or are we sleeping? <laughs> Hawk always says something after that. He'll be like, are we sleeping? I want to go to sleep. <laughs> Packs are out, guys. I'm clapping, Chi. No. No, sorry. No, Nora, I can't. Nora, I'm sorry. I, I can't. I appreciate that. It's it's release day. I mean, if, if we were like dead, maybe. <laughs> sometimes I think about it. Let me see if anything came off in the store really quickly. Because sometimes, sometimes we get sneak attacked. No, nothing came out. Guys, Brew Crew and Rangers, 180 is the kill. Or actually, you know what, Eric? I tell you what. I tell you what, just to get us going. Nora, meet me at 170. I'll give them to you both. Meet me right in the middle. More, more on your side. Is anybody out there? <laughs> Hawk is always funny when he does it. Hawk is cool as hell. I, I can't meet you at 160, bro. I, I really can't. I said 180. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. I gave more on your side. I'll do 170 for you. Yeah, if not, I, I can literally just do it by the... I can literally... I can literally just filler it. All right, cool, cool, cool. I appreciate it, Nora. All right, Nora's killing it. Make sure I get payments and then we can start, guys. Check Gregory, I'm sorry, Greg. He, I just offered it to them. What's up, Greg? I know, Greg. I know. Dude, yeah, Greg, we got we got we got hot, Greg. Seriously, we did. That was that was an amazing run. I, I I can't recall a time I've ever like hit for you like that in general. That was pretty cool. And they were all, you know, very respectable hits. <laughs> Alright, and in the interim, guys, why don't we do an auto guess? Let's guess the first auto. Let's do it for 25, everybody. Let's do it. King Tuck, I'm down. I seen you took one. I got you on that list. You're number 17 on my list. Let's do it. Guess the first auto for 25, guys. Let's have a nice guess. I forgot to do a guess on the last one, so. <laughs> Let's do a guess. And Nora is good. Thank you, Nora. I got it. Yeah, I'm not sure neither, but that's why we're doing a guess. <laughs> Thanks, guys, again for the kill. Perfect. Let's go. Hey, Enraj. What's up, buddy? 
Plumber man's in here. All right, I like it. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Good luck. And other question, actually. Hey, Crunch Time, what's up? How many um, autos have we seen in jumbo chrome packs? Is it also just one auto usually? Good luck, guys. I'll take the first box a little slow. Jose Caballo, um, Caba, Caballero. Tongue tied on the logo. Altuve on the gold. Nice Altuve. That's cool. It's not even numbered. Interesting. Adley. Oops. Batten. Jazz. Doing well. I'm doing real well. Thanks, Wiggy. Coupon. Um, I haven't seen one. I only did one hobby, and it was a pretty crazy case. Um, Hawk seen Hawk seen a few. He saw. He saw Jackson. He saw Ellie's. Jackson Merrill, Ellie, Jackson Holiday, and someone else. But he said it's coming out like pretty crazy. Arnado, Brotherhood, Remuto. Drew Smiley? <laughs> I forget what team he started with, but I remember him. Wasn't Drew Smiley a tiger before? I mean, obviously they get traded. Don't get me wrong, but. Rizzo is our first relic. Yanks. Alejandro Kirk to 2024. Forrest Wall to 2024. Feels like a relic. Nope, I'm way off. It's a bowling. Happy release day, guys. Alvarez, women in baseball, Michael King on the gold foil. On the City Connect, it's Hunter Goodman. PCA on the gold foil. Chipper. Still no auto yet. Lou Bob, Ezekiel Duran. That's a very nice auto to start this off for Cal Fusion. How about a black border auto to 199 of Jordan Lawler? And he looks good against those Reno Aces on his return. 11 of 199 on the Lawler. Nice hit for Cal. Think Chrome to my dome might be a buyer. There's another home field advantage. This time it's Harper for Philadelphia. Good start, Maeda. That's box one. Box two. Oh, that's an SSP, all right. Uh, okay, I have a question. Is it supposed to be like that as well? Or is that, or is that a factory defect?
Is, is that is that supposed to be like that? I mean, that thing is like, that thing is like clearly. Wait, Plumber Man says a saw cut. That is interesting as hell. The rarest variation. A saw cut of Jackson Holiday. That's, that is crazy. <laughs> That is, yeah, dude, that's crazy. Who's got Baltimore? Dr. Gru. Where's Dr. Gru? That is crazy. That That is not, I got to take a picture of this. I got to take a picture of this. Wow. We are on some kind of crazy heater, folks. Things are getting really hot here on Blessed Baseball, guys. That is crazy. Somebody saying saw cuts. Somebody say I, I gotta look. Wait, let me look at this checklist. Saw. Dude, that is crazy. That is, that is wild. That is, that is wild. Yeah, this looks exactly like Billy Ripkins too. That is, that is crazy. Fuck, now I got to worry about five, I mean, an extra corner. There you go. All right, I got it. And I'll beat the sort. That will beat the sword. Let's continue. Let's continue. That's crazy. That is crazy. That that's another corner to worry about, but that is crazy. McClutch. That is crazy. Riley on the uh, 2024, excuse me. Ozuna, Strider and Pedro. So we hit a Kershaw auto. Guys, this stuff is this stuff is pretty good. I mean, we'll we'll find out, Koopa. We'll we will find out. That that's for sure. That is, that is uh that is I don't I don't even know what to say. I've never seen anything like it, truth be told. <laughs> it is cool. I mean that the thing is is it's perfectly cut. Like it's it's perfect. That's that's what gets me like it's like a perfect cut. Like I don't see any edge phrase or anything like that which you would typically see, you know? So I mean but I see it. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I I see the Twitter post about it. I see that. Josh Bell to 2024. Obviously, I don't have time to read the whole thing right now, but McKinsey. Miles Straw on the gold. That is crazy. Oh, it is listed as a variant. So I, I think I see it. I think they call it just a regular cut, cut card.
No, no worries, no worries. Hey, we ain't harping on you, Coupon. No problem. I mean, we all want to know. Silver Slugger of Contreras for the Brew Crew. It's all good, all good. We we're all here to learn. You guys are teaching me how to break this product, so it's all good. There's a Jazz. Oops. Rosarina, Brendan Williamson. That is, yeah, that is, that is wild. That is wild. That's cool, though. That's super cool. You know what else was cool in the hobby? I think that's my favorite pool for, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'm going to have anything more. This is, I think this might only be my second Kershaw Auto I've ever pulled in any product in my five and a half years of doing this. Now, again, I didn't rip a lot of baseball, like I say, but still, it's cool. Alex Kahn agreeing to $3.99, I'm $4.99, excuse me. Canaro on a gold foil rookie. There is Ellie on the insert. McClutch on a black border. It's five of 73. There's Garrett Cole in a Yankees uniform. He comes out a lot. Nolan Jones, Rockies. 365 of 399. The Mick. He told me to piss off. <laughs> Poor Steven. That's why Steven came to hang out with us. After he was so mad on the phone, he saw me and he's like, oh, Amazon, let's go. Mad Max for the Rangers to 2024. Francisco Alvarez and our auto should be here. Swanson on the first pitch. Our auto is winnings for the Braves. Base autograph. All right, nobody got the first auto guess too, huh? Did anybody guess Lawler for 25 on the first auto guess, guys? I don't think anybody guessed Lawler. Why don't we all guess the last autograph in the paper stack? Guess the last autograph. It will be this stack right here. Guess it. We'll roll it for 25. Everybody get another guessing. Go. Daddy Yankee that goes to the Yankees. Pereira for the Yanks as well on the gold foil. Guess the last auto. Have some fun with it too. Nice. Dominguez. I forgot to case the last two boxes, so after this, I'll case. It's going to be a lot of casing to do. Darb, are you out there, Darb? Bobby. Stub. Oh, hello. A Rosarina to two ninety nine. Interesting. Thought that was gonna be an auto. Lance Lynn. Wait. Quick question for the sharp people out there. That would be an awesome triple auto. That would be beyond awesome. Quick question. Did Lance Lynn go back to the Cardinals? Because he was a long time, like, number five starter, number four starter for the Cardinals. I know he went to, like, the White Sox and he bounced around a little bit. Did he go back to the Cardinals? Silver Slugger, Bellinger. Cubbies. We love Cody Bellinger. Oh, he did go back to St. Louis. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was going to say, I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure he was still pitching last I checked. I didn't know he went back to St. Louis. He'll probably retire there. Julian to 2024. Blanchard, Ellie. Luis Garcia to 2024. Darvish. Judge. He, dude, he is old. He's very old. 
He was on the... Correct me if I'm wrong. He was on the World Series team in 2014. And I, I want to say Michael Walker was on the team too at that time. When they won it. Was it 2014 or 15? With uh, David Freeze them. Or it might have even been 13. I don't remember. Because cause, the uh, Giants had the even years. Whatever year it was. I'm pretty sure he was on that team. Speaking of to 50. It's a Rose Arena on the Major League Materials for the Rays. I'm sure someone someone sharp out there will tell me. Last stack. I got kind of a lot of casing to do after this, and then we'll come right back to it. Mookie. Marquez. Autograph. Is a cool one always. It's Chipper for the Braves and Nora. Nora with the little Chipper, Chipper, Chipper Jones. Showtime on a gold foil. Yvonne Herrera, Acuna, Kerstad. We got three boxes left. Wait, was he? Wait, his rookie was 11? I don't know if Michael Walker was a part of the pitching rotation at that time, though, but that was when you had um, Chris Carpenter and Adam Wainwright. So I think it was Chris. Car I think it was Adam Wainwright. Then Chris Carpenter was the number two. Lance Lynn. I don't remember the rest of the pitchers back then. Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. I didn't realize his first... I don't remember him being a rookie in 11. Feels like he was older than that. He was a, he was a solid 4-5 or five pitcher, starting pitcher. He was solid. Not as solid as my boy R.A. Dickey. I won't lie, I liked R.A. Dickey as a man. No offense to the Blue Jays, J. Bach. I'm sure J. Bach is going to give me a lot of shit for saying that. Nothing wrong with him on the Jays, but I did enjoy him as a Met as well. He's the He was the dying breed of the knuckleball. I bet you the next knuckleballer in the in the league, if there, if there ever does come someone that decides to throw that pitch again, I bet you it will be big news. <laughs> He'll be from Japan and go to the Dodgers. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of fitting because... And I, obviously, I say that because of the Asian population. Matt Waldron for Sandy. Does he primarily throw a knuckleball? I actually didn't know that. Oh, that's cool as hell. Is he a starting pitcher? That's how, that's how, like, not well versed I am with baseball as much anymore. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. I'm glad, I'm glad to know there's somebody still throwing that. I ain't gonna lie, Skeen's making is making pitching cool again though. Every time I see his highlights, like that was cool when he went against Shohei Otani, gets strikes him out. Next one, Otani bombs. It's like a draw. It's like that's cool. I love those kind of stories. 
I enjoy watching good pitching. I love the mental game of it. Who is your guys' favorite pitcher? Here's a fun, here's a fun question for the chat. Who is your guys' favorite pitcher to watch hitting? So primary, I, mean, I should say a favorite NL pitcher here. Who is your favorite pitcher in general to watch go to the plate? Just curious. I'm sure I'm going to see Big Sexy. Oh, Tani don't count. Come on. Sabathia. Sabathia is a really good one. Sabathia is actually a good one. That's funny you said that. Maddox. Sabathia is a funny one. I, I have to say for me it was Bartolo. See, Plumber Man said the same thing. Just because just because I'm a big boy, you know what I mean? Bumgarner was fun. Madison Bumgarner was super fun, both as a giant and as a member of the Diamondbacks towards his latter half of the career of his career. He was fun. No, I never watched Bly Levin. I never got to watch Bly Levin. That's cool as hell. No, no, I mean, I mean, like, who did you enjoy? Like, I, I liked it before. I used to like pitchers going up to bat. I, I enjoyed that shit a lot. Probably more than you're supposed to enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy watching pitchers going to the plate and looking uncomfortable as hell. <sighs> All right, here we go. Three more. Great American Ballpark is a, is a hitting park. I don't... I don't recall. Granky was fun to watch. Granky was fun to watch as well. Oh, Sapphire is in the store. Okay. Interesting timing, but okay. What's up, Lloyd? What's happening is we're hitting bangers. That's what's happening. It's release day. Happy release day to everybody. Bangers are flying out. Interesting hits are coming out for sure. Ooh. I see that. Rangers to 199. There's our first CJ. That's my first CJ I've seen. That does go to the Houston Strohs. Wicks. Granky was fun. You know, I, we, I, I forgot about Granky. He was fine. I do actually. I have to admit. I think Bumgarner was probably my favorite. Now that you said that, I think I did forget about Bumgarner going up to the plate because he looked like he wanted to. He looked like he wanted to kill the ball every time. He never wanted to lay the bunt. He would show bunt and freaking just come right back, give it a little slash. But sometimes he takes a major league hacks. Grissom to twenty twenty four, Alvarado. I do miss that though. Like, I don't know. Call me old school. Call me whatever you want. Like, I I enjoyed watching pitchers go to bat. But you know, I mean, I I I do enjoy the fact that Crawford. I do enjoy the fact that they're safer now. You know what I mean? Like, from getting beaned in their elbow or some shit, and then they gotta sit out or whatever. So, I I get it. I get it. I don't. I get both sides. They're an investment, but there's just something magical about you know having to sit with your best your best pitcher or you have to make a pitching change or you're going to do a pinch hit but then you're going to lose your best your best arm like i just i love that aspect of the game i loved it so it makes baseball fun but it's a business and i understand that i get it i get it the judge myers Mike Hampton. 
That one doesn't ring a bell for me, Spectre. George Brett, I didn't really watch. Probably in highlights only. Randy Johnson. Oh, he looked uncomfortable. Ra Randy, uh, Randy Johnson looked beyond uncomfortable. As did many pitchers, mind you. As did many pitchers. But not as uncomfortable as a lot of the AL pitchers. Ooh, have ink? No, it's the slugger. Silver slugger for the Phillies. It's Harper. To 499, it's Noda. Confronto. Was that judge to one nine? Oh, hang on, let me look. Nope. Roger the Rocket Clemens, dude, he was the coolest guy when I met. Clemens was so cool in person. Carlos Zambrano, that is, that's a winner right there. That is a winner. Carlos Zambrano. I couldn't stand him, though. He he had anger issues, dude, like literally. Terang to 2024, Wilson. Carlos Zambrano, that's a great one, too. Jose Rodriguez for the White Sox on the base autograph. White Sox. Gomez on a gold foil. And we got two boxes left. No, I, I met, so I met him at the National three years ago. Um, he was, a, I mean, probably because I was Hawaiian. I'll be dead honest with you. You know who was an asshole to me or like, they didn't really care to be there was Cecil Fielder. He didn't really give a shit. No offense. I'm just, I mean, he might be a nice guy off person, but when I met him and I tried to talk to him, next, like, I was like, ah, that's cool. Like, whatever. Dude, yeah. No, when I met uh, Roger Clemens, though, oh, man, he was so cool. He's like, oh, you're from Hawaii. I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, tell brother Victorino, you know, when we're hitting the golf course. All this guy's, and then, you know, we started talking. That he's like, yeah, you want a picture? I was like, fuck yeah, I want a picture. Let's go. <laughs> he was he was a gentleman. He was freaking awesome. Clements was cool to me. Probably just because he plays golf with Victorino then though. Because they do the charity golf. I think I think it's Maui. I think they do it either in Maui or Kauai. Yeah, Cecil was. Cecil didn't really care for me. like like you know like I was like oh hey nice to meet you thank you yeah you know tried to make small talk nope now now again maybe maybe he was tired or you know his line wasn't like super long it wasn't like crazy long mind you but I was like ah okay cool you don't want to talk that's all good no problem Hershiser, I don't remember. Two boxes left. The last auto guess is coming up in the right stack, guys. Good luck. Nito, rookie. Oh, yeah, not, not a rookie. What am I talking about? There's another judge. No, right, 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 right. I, I know about that. I, I made sure I didn't say anything about him and Prince. But, yeah, he didn't really he didn't really say much. And I'm like, you know, I, I get it. Doc Gooden. Dude, Parsons, it's funny you say that. So, like, um, in, in Hawaii, on the island of Oahu, particularly, there was the, uh, what is it, MB, MBSP League or whatever. 
where they abide by it's a senior league all age league where where you play mlb rules so it you know so long as you're good with that wow another chuck nasty to 99 on the vintage paper or throwback paper i forget what j buck told me chuck nasty don't look darby don't look that's a cool card. I like those. City Connects, a Melendez. But uh, we, we used to play in that all age league and like, oh. Oh, that's sick. Come on, focus. To 2024, it's Rutherford. But, um, yeah, we never got to meet any of, like, the, you know, the big whips of that, of that leagues. Celsith to 2024. Javi Baez. Detroit. Lopez, come on. Silver Slugger of Soto. Wait, was he a Padre in this? Yep. Interesting. Soto does go to the Padres. <laughs> I like those people that tell you stories for hours. So long as I'm not in a rush. Tatis, Brandon Fott, and our auto for the Expos. Terry, it's the Tim Raines on the gold 22 of 50 on the auto. Another home field advantage. Interesting. We had two in this case. Nice for the Dodgers. Yamamoto. That number? No, it wasn't. Okay. And last box. Monster Yamamoto is what I'm being told. We had two home field advantages in this. And I might run out of top loaders before I can finish this break. Oh, these cases have been really nice to us, huh? They look like downtowns, honestly. Ah, <laughs> I try to, I try to. I go wherever I'm needed, truthfully. So today is my last day here this week. I'm I'm assuming I'm back next week. I'm pretty much covering for Brown, that's why. But I enjoy being here. You guys know that. No problem. Anytime you guys want. Here we go. Here's your last guest auto for your last autograph. We're doing it for 25. If you haven't guessed, you got a little bit of time. I got to grab top loaders real quick. I think they're good looking. Um, do they have do they have numbered variations of those cards, J Buck? <laughs> when you see me, or, or the, the the auto this last auto right here, this auto right here in this stack in this stack right here, not in the chrome packs. Well, guess it, this guy right here. Okay, okay. They don't have them numbered yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That would be cool, yeah. Like if you like even if you only had like like a blue, a gold, and a one of one or something like that. Like that'd be cool. 
or like a black, a gold, a black, and a one of one or something. Black to ten. Here we go, guys. Good luck. There's a sunny gray on the blue border for the Cardinals. There's my man, Chris Sale. Love them on the White Sox. Love them. I also like them on the Red Sox, too. Cranky to 2024, speaking of the devil. Rangers to 2024. Jackson Wolf on a gold foil. Come on. What we got here? Bregman to 199 on a black border relic. Laddie Daddy, Cobb. Rafaela, <clears throat> Josh Hader, Jock Peterson, Bassett, I got it in my case pile. Oh, is it just not numbered but to 50? It's with my other numbered stacks. There's a Jeter All-Star Relic as well for the Yanks. He's Green of Estevez, Minter. Kimbrough. I didn't even know he was an Oreo, to be honest with you. Here we go, last auto, guys. Oh, a base card. Jock Peterson, I think. Oh, sorry, you're right. Jock. Oh, 22 of 50, I apologize. I did miss that. See, good thing I got you guys. You guys are sharp. Here we go, here's our auto. It's a base auto. It's a Strider auto for the Braves and Nora had a couple of autos there. Anybody guess Strider? Sucks we won't get to see him till next year, Wade Miley. And we go to the Chrome Packs. Strider. Anybody guess Spencer Strider? That might've been a hard guess. I'm getting all the good pitchers. I'm getting all the good pitchers today. Nobody got I. Right. One more time, guys. Last time. You probably want to guess a pitcher. Guess the Chrome Pack Auto. I'll do it for 25. One more guess. Go. Quickly. You guys got like 60 seconds probably. Get a guess in, guys. Get a guess. One guess, one guess only. Everybody can participate. Luck.
Start with Jacob Amaya, Mauricio Rojas, and Mason Wynn. Nice. Redbirds is on the board, finally. There's Jung Ho Lee, Beltre, Sandy Koufax, Brigman. Vlad, Yamamoto, Jackie Robinson, and Nolan Jones. Come on, I need color here. Clemens, Randy Johnson, Cole Reagans. Miggy, where's my color? Dominguez, nice. Stott, Logan Webb. Junior, Abrams, the Hawk, and here's our autograph, guys. Here it is. Our autograph is Dominic Canzone. Did anybody guess Canzone for Seattle and 718? For those offensive hitting Mariners. Probably in the second stack. Speaking of, there's a green coming. I didn't think so. Rafaela Meadows Green of Mr. Mauricio. Closest pizza snack was Piazza. J Rod Soto. Come on, Chrome Packs. Gold. Bench Miller Murray, gold of Sandy Koufax on a gold of 50. It's a cool Sandy Koufax for the Dodgers. Lawler, Horner, Ellie, and Bobby Witt Jr., two more. Aqua. Austin Wells, Yanks, with the Aqua. Those chrome packs wasn't the best. But that was the break. And still another nice break. Very solid for Jumbo. I think we did better in Javi, to be honest with you. But that was only one case. Yeah, I heard about that Sandy Koufax feller. Heard he was all right. I think my great grandma might have watched him play. <laughs> all right, let's recap it, guys, on Jumbo, and then we'll go into the next one, guys. Either Hobby number six or series two number four Hobby. Most likely be next or even the random team on the jumbo is also very close. So you guys can attack all of that. And obviously if anything else goes natural in the store, guys, you guys are more than welcome to attack that too. Here's the recap. Nice Sandy Koufax. I like that.
And my clutch was cool. Harper Silver Slugger. I like the City Connects. They're cool as hell. Strider. Reigns. Chipper. Black of Jordan Lawler. And the Jackson Holiday. That's pretty dope overall. That's cool as hell. Beat the sword on the Jackson Holiday. And that indeed is the break, ladies and gentlemen.